yeah, the issue about land planning, I would like to put it that way. Land planning is a very big one in the country. Uh, the authorities like the Land Commission, Town and Country Planning, and then the Survey Department are the traditional authorities to handle issues related to land registration and monitoring and use. Unfortunately, these institutions look weak to be able to implement it, especially when it comes to enforcement of the laws. I would say developed countries where land is largely owned by government. If you go to most developed countries, land is planned based on government policies and is largely controlled by government. In our country, a bigger part of land, not only in Accra, but elsewhere, are controlled by traditional authorities. You know, when these things were going on, people were buying land anyhow and all kind of things were going on. The traditional authorities, people brought an idea that it would be good for the traditional authority to set up a trust to take charge over the lands so that the indiscriminate selling of lands will stop, so that we can get a committee or a body to manage the lands. There came the trust, and the trust was. Uh, our great grandfathers uh, and mothers are starting the farming before we too we come and uh, uh, we get some uh, problem, not small problem. We get problem because of the encroachment. We are starting the farming from uh, Zenith College, Great Fair back up to here. Now, because of the encroachment, some farmers they go to retire because they don't get land to farm. Do you think you need a green belt? Uh, we need green belt. We always tell them, and they said we have green belt. We want them to show us the green belt, mm. where the green belt is. But now, they didn't. Mm. But always, if people come there, they say they have green belt, they have green belt. But we haven't seen the green belt yet. <laughs> All these places you see were farmland. <laughs> But even we, we don't tell them, do you, what you saw, are they far? <laughs> they are what we call the market gardens, isn't it? Backyard. <laughs> Someone said there's no farming going on at this land town. is a lie. We get many farmers here, but right now only land, land is worrying us. But people, we get many people who are eager to do the farm work. It is the duty of the trust to prevent anybody taking over land from the farmers. Mm. But it is rather vice versa. Yeah. They are there and still the lands have been taken from the farmers and they couldn't say anything. So gradually me I'm seeing it. Gradually before you see somebody behind they're taking over. We don't we don't have obligation to relocate them. Because currently what they are using, the land they are using, they don't pay a CD to the board. We don't have any, any contractual arrangement with them. So as and when we want to use the land, we will use it. We, we don't have that agreement with them to relocate them. Now, for instance, we are giving you in kind. But if you are not in a group, you cannot do so. Because individually, some collected loans some time ago and they were not able to repay them. So our advice to farmers is to come together and form groups. So I've made up my mind that I will go back to the mayor to ask him to know the truth in it. We want some, some people to go to our chief and then talk to our chief so that they stop selling their lands so that we can get some to farm 
and get something to chop. Are farmers coming, still coming together to the Farmers Association? Yes, please. They are coming to yeah, the Farmers Association? Yes. It is good that maybe the farmers and the sellers come together. Yeah. Because they will have a wider mouth and then people will hear of them. Yeah. And have you done anything like that before? I cannot do that. No. No. Are you in contact with any other farmer associations who are going through the same problems? No. No. Why is that? Why not? Because this situation is probably not just a reality for La, but also for other, many other farmers. And there are many, a few thousand farmers in the whole of Accra. Why is that you're not talking to others? We have not come into my mind. It hasn't come to your mind. Is that something that could work? That could be helpful? Yes, it will be good help. Um, <coughs> the, the, the cities and its uh, rural hinterlands have a lot of symbiotic relationship, and therefore, uh, if, if you have very good fertile areas for growing vegetables, at the moment I'm told a lot of the supply of vegetables for Accra come from Togo, and uh, if you have very fertile lands just by the city, then you can grow these vegetables. Why should you bring the vegetables all the way from Togo? Why can't we preserve that one? It, it offers ready market for the farmers to give them good value for their money, for whatever investment they want to do. So we have to rethink the whole concept of urban development in one holistic dimension, and not to see urban, a, a big wall um, surrounding urban and separating it from agriculture, actually, um, or rural land uses, as I will put it. Um, the, the, the dividing line is really very thin, and then we need a lot of symbiotic relationships.